Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. My name is Idan. I'm going to review the most powerful graphics card ever been created by Nvidia, the Titan V. It has 12 gigabyte of the new HPM2 type of memory. 21 billion transistors. It has 5120 CUDA cores and it only consumes 250 watts. Now, I'm gonna try something that never been tried before and I think it will be awesome. I'm gonna install this big boy in this casing that was made by Alienware. Alienware made an external GPU case where you can install that and connect it to your Alienware laptop and increase your performance and utilize the Titan V. Now, I don't think anybody ever tried to put one of those but if, if I succeed, I can have a mobile gaming and mining beast. Now, before we start, I want to thank our sponsors for today's video. Hamster Marketplace is a decentralized trading platform. It's designed to solve the high fees current marketplaces charge for selling and buying products online. That is causing products to cost a lot more than they should. Hamster connects you directly to manufacturers and if you are a manufacturer you can list your product on Hamster and save money that way as well. By reducing associated fees and providing security using blockchain technology, Hamster provides a safer way and a cheaper way to trade online. Hamster Marketplace focuses on electronics and gadgets. HMT Token is now on sale and you can check out their white paper at hmstr.io. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna unbox the Titan V, install it in the external GPU by Alienware, and then we're gonna do some mining benchmarks. We'll see how much money can we make from mining this Titan V full time. We'll see how much water it takes and what about some gaming performance? I'm gonna try some heavy games like Crisis 3 on top level performance and I'm gonna try to do it on 2K 120Hz. I might even overclock my screen to 130Hz just to see if I can see the difference and utilize fully this amazing GPU. So let's start with the Titan V unboxing. Here's the box, it's just a plain white box. It tells you the support and warranty. There's a three year warranty and um, that you need a 600 watt power supply or more but I do know that this card takes 250 watts and um, the power supply in the case is 375 watts so we should be good to go now um, there's a little sticker here and here and we're just gonna cut it open carefully of course with a $3,000 video card All right, let's see what's inside. Wow. It has uh, anti-static protection. We're gonna take it out. So it's a blower design, so we have one fan here. It has a back plate, which I really, really like. I'm happy that they put a the back plate because some of the Titan X, they didn't have a back plate, so that's a big deal. Pretty nice design, I like the design a lot. It says Titan right there, and it says Titan V right there. The box includes also a instruction, some instructions and support guide, and some cabling. Oh, we have a DVI uh, adapter cable, which not really gonna be needed right now. All right, so now let's go ahead and unbox the case from Alienware and install this Titan V in the case. So, here is the Alienware external GPU case. It's big. I mean, it's so much bigger than the 1070, the 1080 Aorus external gaming boxes. This is much, much bigger, but you can install a full-size video card in there. Now let's go ahead and unbox it. See what comes inside. So this cable is very specific for the Alienware. It's only gonna work on the Alienware that has this uh, external GPU port. And it's a pretty long cable, so I'm pretty happy with this because some other external GPUs comes with a really short cable. And you need a long cable because sometimes you want it like away from the desk, maybe under your feet or something. We have a standard uh, power cord. It looks like a standard 
computer power cord. We have some really nice foam right here. I like this already. And here it is. Wow, what a beast. It's big. So here's the back here. We can see the power plug right there. And we can see that uh, eventually there's gonna be a video card right there. It supports a dual size, uh, dual port video card right there. And we have some protections on the side, which I'm gonna have to take out because it's part of the, uh, the air gonna come in that way. So I wanna make sure my, my Titan V is not gonna overheat. Now here's my Titan V and let's figure out how to open this box and install it in there. Oh, here it is. So there's a little tab right there. Wow, here it is, okay. So as you can see here, we have a power supply that's up to 375 watts to power up the Volta. There's two power plugs right here. So I actually do need a small screwdriver because there's two screws right here. Because I'm so excited, I'm just gonna use my knife to open this. I don't wanna go anywhere. I really wanna get that Titan V in there. This is basically like a razor um, on, a, on a mining rig. You know, there's a little razor right there. Um, and then you install it right there. Perfect. Now I'm gonna use the screws that I took out to put them back. I do not recommend the knife for a screwdriver. <laughs> and now we're gonna plug in the two power cords and then one eight pin. And I did notice there's a lot of space here. So if you have a bigger card, you can do that. But what other card to have other than the Titan V in there? Beautiful, look at this. So there is a fan in the power supply. There's a fan in the GPU and another fan in there, which is pretty big. So we're gonna close it all up. So the result is a beautiful case. You can see the Titan V peaking in there, uh, just waiting to be powered up. To plug this in to the Alienware, we need two cables. One is the power cord that, it all comes with it, so that's kind of cool. So first step, power cord. Second step is the special cable that's made by Alienware to connect to my Alienware R4 17 inch laptop and that way they can communicate with each other and I can play from the Titan V. So let's go ahead and plug that in there as well. All we have to do is plug one cable to my Alienware. So right here is the special connection to the Alienware gaming box. So here's the Alienware with the Titan V in there and here's the Alienware laptop R4 17 inch and they're connected with power. Luckily, the cable is long enough so I can put it down under my feet or something because it's so big to take up so much space and sometimes you don't have that much space. Uh, let's say if you go to Starbucks and you want to play there or your friend's house doesn't have that big of a table, this might be too big. So the cable is long and I appreciate that, Alienware. Thank you. So once we installed everything and run a benchmark, you can see here the performance for the Titan V. I have to say, they're pretty impressive when it comes to mining and it seems to be like the Neoscript is the best thing to mine on this card but that might change as prices of coins change all the time. I did notice that the Titan V is about the same performance as two 1080 Ti's which is pretty good but it's still a little low compared to how much money we paid. Two 1080 Ti's cost about $2,000 to $2,200 brand new right now, but the Titan V costs $3,000. If you're looking for mining, maybe it's better to go with the 1070 or 1080, they're much better price. The 1070 mines almost the same as the 1080, you can get it for much lower price. But if you're looking for the lowest amount of wattage to take and the highest amount of hashing, I will say the Titan V comes at the top because it only takes 250 watts and it can mine as much as half an S9 or two 1080 Ti's, which takes a lot more power. So power to income ratio is pretty high compared to other cards, but then again, the price is so high that the ROA is a very, very long. Maybe if you keep mining this card for many, many years, it might be worth it, but if they're gonna come up with a V or Volta system 
with a lower price card that will be much better than buying the Titan V. Now for gaming I got some serious issues using the amplifier box because it just seems to not be supported and no matter what we tried I was even on the phone with Alienware for over an hour trying to figure it out how to use this Titan V and use the graphics for gaming on the laptop and I figured out there is no way for me to do so I actually had to use an external screen to be able to utilize the Titan V so mining did work but gaming did not I always had to use the internal 1080 that I got with the Alienware which is actually fine and when we check some performance when it comes to playing video games on the Titan V the performance change was not that significant from a 1080. I mean we got maybe 10, 15 more FPS on Crisis and some other games but that's about it. So it's a little smoother, we got a little higher performance, we're using a 144Hz screen. You will see that on the next video, we are a little disappointing on the gaming performance. When it comes to performance for deep learning, and artificial intelligence this card can definitely do better than any other card and some software can be only run on one specific card and that's where the titan v comes up to be worth it for mining not so much when we wait for the benchmark to finish and we let it mine for a little while we can see that it makes about five dollars and fifty cents per day it did jump to six to eight dollars but that changed all the time but but even with eight dollars per day the return on investment can take a very long time. It might take you a year and a half or longer just to pay it back, not even calculating the electricity, even though the electricity is very low at 250 watts. As we can see here, Titan V performs about double of the 1080 Ti, but if we take the 1080, it almost performs the same as the 1080 Ti, and that's probably because a lot of people are mining right now, and the number of cards are better than a better card. So maybe getting tons of 1070s or tons of 1080s is much better than investing on a 1080 Ti or a Titan V. Now those numbers change all the time because back then, 1080 Ti used to mine enormous amount of profit I mean it used to mine ten dollars a day per card and that was just amazing you know you could have returned your investment in maybe four months but with the current pricing of the Titan V it's doing really really bad so I cannot recommend this card for that purpose or for using it with the amplifier with the Alienware because it's not supported so what is this card for maybe only for people like me to benchmark it or for people who do deep learning and artificial intelligence programming and they need a dedicated card which is the best in the world to perform the fastest task and I'm a little bit disappointed that I cannot use it with the Alienware amplifier because I was also expecting to game on the Titan V but all I can do for now is just mine on it thank you guys so much for watching we reached 40,000 subscribers that's just amazing, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, hit that notification button, and then let me know in the comments what other kind of videos you like me to make. I really do listen to you guys and try my best. Don't forget to check the link below for our forum, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.